Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint this easy coffee mug using watercolors. Before we can begin painting, we first need to draw our coffee mug. I already sketched out my coffee mug and now I'm going to transfer my sketch onto my watercolor paper by scribbling in some graphite on the back of my sketch. Then I'm going to take my pen and trace over the picture and then that will transfer it onto my watercolor paper. I began the painting process by filling up the entire coffee mug with water. Then I took my light blue paint and filled in the entire mug. Then while everything was still wet, I added more paint to my blue paint mixture to create a darker tone. Then I began painting in shadows on the left side of the mug, keeping the right side lighter. I kept the top section of the mug handle lighter as well, making the surrounding areas slightly darker. I will have all of the specific paint colors that I used for this painting listed over on my blog. I will have the link in the description box below if you would like to check that out. After my first layer of the coffee mug dried, I went back over the mug and added a second layer of paint. Then with a clean dry brush, I pulled up paint in a curved line pattern across the middle of the mug to add a subtle pattern to the coffee mug. I waited for the mug to completely dry, then I filled in my leaf with a blue-green paint mixture. I tried to leave a little bit of white space to keep the composition looking loose. Then while the leaves were drying, I moved up to the inside of my coffee mug and I painted in a base layer of coffee with a dark brown paint. Once my leaves were dry, I took a light wash of gray paint on my brush and painted in the plate beneath my mug. I started with a light wash, then I went back with a darker gray paint around the base of the mug to create a natural shadow. For our next step, I added some detail to the leaves by mixing my gray paint with the green paint mixture and then I used the tip of my brush to paint in some veining on each leaf. Then, mixing my gray paint with my blue paint, I added a loose outline all around my mug and lightly around the middle of the mug to bring out my pattern. I then took my white gel pen and added a highlighted area to the section of my coffee. Then, with the brown paint mixture, I blended it into the rest of the coffee area. Lastly, I added a loose border around my plate. I messed with my leaf a little bit more and then I splattered my blue paint all around the top and bottom sections of the painting. And there you have an easy watercolor coffee mug painting. I hope you enjoyed painting this coffee mug with me today. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Here are a few more watercolor tutorials you might want to check out next. 